So today we're taking a peek at a product that has a lot of uses. It's one of those things that anybody can really use it because it pertains to a lot of different things from vehicle tire inflation to um, bicycles or motorcycles to inflating mattresses, air mattresses, things like that, to inflating sports balls, things like that. This is essentially a portable battery operated air compressor. Now I've actually ins uh, done a video on a smaller one or a little bit different one. It's not too much smaller, it is shorter. Uh, and I loved that. This is a little bit bigger, which I'm hoping is actually gonna pertain to a little bit faster um, in those higher pressure or higher volume areas, as well as maybe a little bit quieter. It's also aluminum all the way around, so I'm expecting the heat dissipation to be a little bit better as well. So this is the next pow well, portable air pump. That's, let's just keep it at that, because the model number is MS22C-003, not too fancy in that regard. But let's bring it in here, let's talk about this, then we'll go out and do a little test with it. So this is the unit itself. The, now the, the top cord I have on here is removable for storage purposes. Uh, so there we are right there. And that's what it would look like if you're storing it. And then you do have this as well. Now on the bottom of the unit, there's actually a spot to store some of these items. So like I still actually have this little, uh, I guess air piece thing that kind of pops down in there. And uh, some of the ends and stuff can stay down in the bottom of the case. That I really like. Real quick, easy, small storage for your quick and easy access items or uh, accessories. And then you have your power ports on here. So we have USB-C, USB-A out. You can actually use this as a battery backup for your phone, things like that. And then there's actually a, uh, I wanna say it's a, a 12 volt, but I don't think it actually is 12 volt. Maybe it is. Either way, uh, this is the unit. Now there is a light on the top of the unit as well. So you do have a flashlight capability and there's a light button for that. But let's turn it on. Let's do, start with this. So I'm gonna push and hold and it'll kind of go across and then on. And I am going to adjust so that you guys can see that. I apologize, there we go. So um, I'm gonna do that one more time just so you can see what it looks like and off. And that is the same thing when I do it, I turn it on. Just dash, 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 on, and now it's on. Now this is the setting that you can uh, go plus or minus right here. So I can bring this setting down. I can bring this setting up. I can adjust this to whatever I wanted to. Um, there is modes on the side here, if you can see. Um, every time I click this bottom button, it'll change a mode. So you can have settings. So for instance, uh, that one's ball setting, which is right now set at nine PSI. If I click it again, that's at 30 PSI, which is, looks like that's just a universal one. There's not actually a light. Hit it again, car, a little car pops up and that's set to 36. And I can you know, increase that to say 39 or whatever I need to do for my automobile for tires. And it'll remember that for that setting. So, you know, if you use something regularly, you can always change that setting to, you know, just highlight whatever you need there. Uh, on the top, there's the light. And so we have a flashlight capable with that little button there. It also has a flashing button if you click it again. And then a even flasher, faster flash, and then hit it again, and it shuts off. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on here, just threads back on. And these orange rubber pieces right here are actually to just give you better grip so you get a nice tight seal on it. Now, it's gonna, when I turn it on, so if while it's on, the screen's on, if I just touch the power button, just tap it. Don't push and hold, it'll turn on the pump. And then push it again to turn it back off. The nice thing is, this end, which is a, just a standard Schrader valve end, will go directly on a, a car, or directly onto a bike that has this type of valve, or a motorcycle, or anything like that. And then you go to the bottom of the case here, to choose any adapter that you want to put on. So like the, for the instance, this one works good for like small air mattresses or like uh, beach balls or whatever. Um, there is a Presto valve adapter for bicycle people out there. So that's right here, I think. There it is. So there's that adapter. There is a ball adapter in there. Um, there's a lot of stuff in, in here. So. Um, that's a nice little adapter pop and you can choose whatever you need there. It does come with this bag. Also, here is the 
12 volt DC charging port. And that 12 volt bottom is in only. I, I don't believe it, it puts out and that's why I was saying that. But there's the port and then it does come with a USB-C charging cable. Um, that's how I've charged this already, was just with a USB-C cord that I already have. And last but not least, instructions on how to use it, which essentially is what I kind of went over. Um, the last item is the safety item. That's the one item I haven't gone over yet. Down underneath here, one of the adapters is this big honking guy. If I can get him out. It kind of clips in pretty good. There we go. That guy. This is not for pumping. This, if you're aware of it, you can screw that into there. And now you can break windows with these because it's just those pointy break, you know, push on it and it'll break the window. So it's, it is just included in this for safety, um, but it, it has come with it. It is something to say. That's one of the accessory items that it comes with that is not for inflating purposes. So uh, let's put this back on. Let's go out in my garage. We will, I'll show you how it works on my vehicle. Okay, so I'm gonna do a nice test here on my front wheel of my Tesla and Take the valve cover off. There we go. I'm gonna kick this guy on and on. And the front tires are supposed to be set to 42. So I'm gonna go ahead and just set it to a med car tire mode. Not that it really matters as long as it's set to where I want it to be. Screw this into place. All right, so we're a little low at 39 and a half. So all I gotta do push on and let it do its thing it's going to take a second so give me let's uh speed this up and that was about a minute and 15 seconds or so that's how long it took so not terrible in terms of how long i do like i mean it takes a second for it but that's because of my uh cover there it's not the easiest to unscrew it but that's uh, quieter than my other portable unit, uh, as well as faster. So quieter and faster is always better. So uh, that was a quick test on a car tire. Now, like I've said, I've, I've reviewed another one of these before, a smaller, different version, a couple years older, a lot louder, definitely heated up more, and uh, is this one's a little bit faster, but I think that's just because it is a little bit taller of a pump. Um, I like this one, I like it a lot. It's, it's actually really handy to throw it in the trunk of your vehicle, especially because you never know what you're gonna run into. Uh, it's just handy to have. But to be honest, I stopped using my air compressor that I had in my basement for, I mean, it's been, it was, it's one of those bigger air compressors. I stopped using it because I use this for filling up my bike tires, my car tires, my trailer tires, my tractor tires, my motorcycles, everything. I use this because it's so much easier to deal with. Um, and I can take it with me and I can do it wherever I want. I don't have to pull cords and get stuff out every time. I just grab this, plug it on, start it. You set the whatever you know inflation I want it set to, hit the power button and I walk away and do something else. And then when I hear it's turn off, I know it's time for the next tire. That's why I like these things a lot. And uh, the battery in here will definitely last a definitely set of probably a few vehicles, to be honest. It all depends on how much, how low the tire is. But uh, no, battery is pretty good. Now the neat thing about this is uh, $39.99 is what it's going for on Amazon. They have a 30% off coupon on there right now. I don't know how long that's gonna last. I will put links in the description where you can take a peek at that, um, but keep an eye on it. If nothing else, it's definitely worth its price. And especially if you can get a good for a good, a good uh, little discount, even better if, uh, at you. So that is the next POW portable pump. If you have any questions, comment below, like, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you back here on TechHuge for another future video review. See you soon.